Hi everybody, it's Lene. Thanks for joining me today. It is strawberry season in Oregon. That might be my favorite time of year. June and the strawberries are ripe and we have a wonderful little strawberry patch really close to our house and our family loves to go pick them. And that was the inspiration for me choosing this wonderful brand new little paper pack from Hot Off The Press, six by six. It is called Strawberry Delight. And you get 24 sheets of the six by six paper, but I just pulled out uh, six of them just to give you a little example here. So isn't this adorable? And then on the back, black with the little strawberries, the little bowl of strawberries. I love this one, the white with the strawberries. Then the chocolate dip strawberries. Oh, it's so cute on the back with the lattice. And then the green with the strawberry field. And then this one is ghosted like right that. And then we've got these wonderful cutouts. These are amazing for little tags. On the back, we have the beautiful, very happy little gingham and then the cute little cutout greetings. And then on the back, there's a dot on that one. And then you get four of each of those. So that is plenty to make today's project. We are going to be making a little cute paper bag notebook holder. Now I've done one of these before. Um, this one's gonna be a little bit different, but we're using the same gift sack craft bags that I got at Hobby Lobby. These are five by 10 by three inches. I bought these for, I think they were half off, so they were like $1.49 and you get 12 of them. This is a great craft to make if you're doing bazaars or anything like that, change it out to Christmas, or even just use the strawberry paper. I always love to receive gifts at Christmas that aren't Christmas themed, and that way it takes me into different parts of the year. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to not utilize this part of the paper bag. That may be the first time that I haven't used a little tuck packet on there. So we're gonna go ahead and use our little Cosmic Shimmer glue, and we're gonna just glue that shut. All right, and then the next thing we're gonna do is just fold this in half. And you can do the same thing with really any size, kind of a lunch sack bag. You could use um, bags that you get at the Dollar Tree. I love these white ones. Um, you could always save a bakery bag. I've done that before to use for a project. All right, so there we have our cover for our little book. We're going to be using the open, opening of the bag, of course, for a little pocket. And then on the inside, we're gonna be placing one of these mini writing tablets that I got at the Dollar Tree from a recent haul. What makes these so convenient is not only they are, are they a really nice pink color, which is gonna blend well with the strawberries, but also it's three and a half inch by five inch. And remember, these are five inches wide. So that's really important. There's three of these and they're all sort of you know glued together, but each one of them has a little cardboard back. So you just peel that off. So the fact that you can make three of these crafts for that one price is really nice. So this is all kind of set up for bulk gift making really. And then we're going to do the cover first and then we're gonna decorate the inside, but this is gonna go right in there. And then we're gonna do some really cute um, sort of tiered or layered pockets on the inside. And then we have some really cute tags that I'm gonna make for this side. So first let's start with covering the cover, covering the cover, doing the cover. So I've cut this one down. I just love this one. It's so delicate and cute. And this is four and three quarters by three and seven eighths. Or you can just take your paper, this is what I like to do for any size bag, and you just take the entire sheet, let me demonstrate here, and I like to just take my paper and place it just like this so I have a nice little 1 8 inch border and then I just mark it with a pencil 1 8 inch from the top and 1 8 inch from the side and then I just take my paper trimmer and cut here and cut here. So that way you can cover yours whichever size bag you have and you can use a tape runner, you can use glue, whichever you'd like. I love the Cosmic Shimmer glue. It's got a really nice quality paper glue and it lasts me a long time, which is important. We go through a lot of glue, don't we? All right, so on this one, we're just cutting this one down and I've matted that one there too. And I just love the little scene with the butterfly and bringing in those reds and greens. There we go. 
and I want to keep the cover pretty flat so my inclination is to foam tape this to the front but I'm resisting that because we're doing something different by putting the writing pad on this side instead of here so this side needs to stay flat on the front otherwise you're going to be writing with it like that that's no fun all right oh I forgot something before we get too far ahead we've got some really beautiful ribbon this is gorgeous and we're going to lay this one right here first we have to do the back so I've got where's my back piece hello found it all right so this little piece is going to go right on the back we can put it like this with the butterfly flying down actually I'm going to use this side that's what it is I use the ghosted side all right okay so now we're going to take this and we're going to take our ribbon and place it right there and we're going to wrap that around and i want to have enough so we can tie a nice little bow for the closure so i'm just gonna it's about a one yard length so we're going to do that and then we're just going to take our glue and put it right there glue that down and then that's going to go right there on top of it all right and then we can just turn this over i want to make sure and put a little bit of glue right there on that little fold just so everything stays in line and then on this side we're just going to wrap this around put a little line of glue right there you could use a tape runner for that as well there we go i just think these make such a sweet little gift if you're meeting a friend for coffee and you want to make something to bring them as a little gift it's their birthday something that you're celebrating that's always really nice to bring a little something for a friend all right there we go so then we can go ahead and tie this at the end we're going to decorate the cover once we're all done so everything doesn't kind of get bumped and tousled so on the inside i've cut this one down to the same as the front it's four and three quarters by three and seven eighths that's gonna go right there and then we have this cute little pink pad and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this one in as well and we just want to make sure that our border is showing here and that at the top and the bottom it's flush with that paper bag and it is and then I've got these cute little cutouts I love this where it says a note for sweet you and I just like decorating the first page it's gonna get used it's gonna get torn off but it's just a nice little presentation for when they open their gift and then I've got this cute little strawberry circle cut out put that right there all right so on this other page we are going to take the scraps we have lots of scraps with this so this is going to be great for making little tiered pockets they're going to be so sweet we can make a little one for a little tuck space and then we can move one up i think we can get one two maybe three on there that'll be really cute and then we can make some little tags to tuck in there or use the cutouts from this collection and then on the inside we're going to have some other things to make to put in there so i'm going to cut down some paper and I will be right back. All 
All right, now I have come back with our little pockets here. I used a three quarter inch hole punch to just make a little notch right there. This one is about an inch taller than this one, <clears throat> which is about an inch taller than this one. And just a little tip on how I like to put my notches on these, because I don't like to measure. So I just put a little bit of a pinch right there. Turn my notch like this. Make sure I have that little fold about halfway there. Woo! And there they go. So let's glue these in. We're gonna start with this one. I'm gonna put glue on three sides. Right there. There we go. And I made some really cute tags to put in these. And so while I'm doing this, you guys, if you remember, I love to give away my projects. And so if you like this project and you would like to have it for your very own or maybe to share with a friend, all you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, that's the third one. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe to be entered into our little contest to win this for your very own. But then the key, the key is you gotta watch next Monday's video so you can see who the winner was. And then you have to follow the instructions about emailing me to claim your prize and I will mail it to you, a little happy mail. All right, so while that is drawing, let's take a look at what's in this pocket right here. Cute little photo tag, a great place to write on the back. There's two kind of gussets here, so there's enough room for two pockets, I mean two tags in your pocket. All right, and then on the front here, I've done a little, some flowers there. These are pretty flat, so I don't think they're gonna interfere with um, our little tablet here on the inside and writing on that. And then I've got some cute little tags. This one is a little tag shape that you can actually open because I just had the little tag go over the fold. So we can just slide that right in there. And then we've got these, which are just gonna be so cute to add right in. I like to sort of stagger these. There's that one. And then this one is one of the little cutouts. And I just took one of the other cutouts and I just foam taped one over the other. Let's pull this one out a little bit. How fun, right? And I added some little buttons and ribbons. So cute. And then this can just get tied in a little bow. And it'll be all ready for gift giving. You guys, this was such a fun one to make. Thank you so much for joining me today. As I said, like, comment, and subscribe. And then watch next week's video to see who our lucky winner will be. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.